Hello everyone, welcome to Route to Mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve an interesting question from the chapter polynomial. So the given question is the reminder when the polynomial x plus x cube plus x to the power 9 plus x to the power 27 plus x to the power 81 plus x to the power 243 is divided by x square minus 1. So here we are asked to find the reminder of this given polynomial when it is divided by x square minus 1. So without any delay, let's start the solution. Let's take our given polynomial as p of x equals to x plus x cube plus x to the power 9 plus x to the power 27 plus x to the power 81 plus x to the power 240 and our divisor is g of x equals to x square minus 1. So in the next step we are going to apply the reminder theorem. So our reminder theorem is p of x must be equals to g of x multiplied with q of x plus r of x where q of x is our quotient and r of x is the reminder. So we can write p of x equals to our g of x is the divisor which is x square minus 1 multiplied with the quotient q of x plus let's take r of x as a x plus c. We have taken r of x as a x plus c because the degree of the remainder must be less than that of degree of the divisor. Here you can see that the degree of divisor is 2. So we have taken so the degree of remainder at most must be 1. So now we can write p of x equals to by applying the algebraic identity that is a square minus b square we can write x plus 1 multiplied with x minus 1 q of x plus a x plus c so here we have two factors put so here we have two factors so let's just put x equals to 1 so our equation becomes p of 1 equals to 1 plus 1 multiplied with 1 minus 1 multiplied with q of 1 plus a multiplied with 1 plus c so this implies this p of 1 1 minus 1 is 0 so this total term becomes 0 so we have a plus c so this implies this we can write a plus c equals to our p of 1 is 1 plus 1 q plus 1 to the power 9 plus 1 to the power 27 plus 1 to the power 81 plus 1 to the power 243 so 1 to the power anything is 1 so we can write a plus c equals is 6 let's take it as equation 1 so our second factor is minus 1 now put x equals to minus 1 so we have p of minus 1 equals to minus 1 plus 1 multiplied with minus 1 minus 1 q of minus 1 plus a multiplied with minus 1 plus c so here you can see that we have minus 1 plus 1 so this total term becomes 0 so we are getting minus a plus c equals to p of minus 1 so this implies this minus a plus c equals to minus 1 plus minus 1 to the power 3 plus minus 1 to the power 9 plus minus 1 to the power 27 plus minus 1 to the power 81 plus minus 1 to the power 243. We know that minus 1 to the power n equals to minus 1 when n is odd and plus 1 when n is even. So you can see that all the powers are odd numbers. So our equation becomes minus a plus c equals to minus 1 plus minus 1 6 times minus 1. So this becomes minus 6. Let's just take it as equation 2. So we have two equations now a plus c equals to 6 and minus a plus c equals to minus 6. Let's just add equation 1 and equation 2. By adding equation 1 and 2, the a minus a get directly cancelled out. So, we have 2c equals to 0. 
this implies is c equals to 0. Let's just put the value of c any one of the equation. Putting the value of c equals to 0 in equation 1 we have a plus 0 equals to 6. So this implies is a equals to 6. So what are asked to find? We are asked to find the remainder. We have taken r of x. r of x is equals to a x plus c. So this implies is r of x equals to a is 6 multiplied with x and c is 0. So our r of x is equals to 6x. Thus our remainder of this given polynomial when it is divided by x square minus 1 is 6s is our answer. I hope you have understood the solution. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for more such interesting videos. Thank you.